We went to dive during a project that we were doing along the coast of Caesarea and we found many artifacts belonging to the Roman period between the 1st and the 3rd century AD. We found sounding lead for measuring the depth of the seafloor bronze nails that belong to the sheep hull, this amazing bronze eagle that probably belonged to the, the Roman legion. Caesarea doesn't stop to surprise us, and this time it's a hoard from the Mamluk period with a couple of hundred silver dirhams that belonged to the first half of the 14th century to the reign of the Sultan Nasser Nasser Muhammad. The harbor is the most dangerous place for the ship during the entrance to the harbor. So that's why we have in these small anchor sites many places that we can find many shipwrecks from different periods at the same place. In this story, a Roman shipwreck from the 1st to 3rd century AD and the Mamluk period from the early 14th century. That means that almost 1,000 years between these two ships that wreck in the same place. It's always much better to find something in the water because there's no air, there's no oxygen. The preservation of the coins is much better. The coins are important for our understanding of the economy during this period. We know a lot from documents, but actually from the archaeological material we have very few finds. So that's why these finds dug up on the coast of Caesarea is so important. One of the biggest surprises was to find this small gemma decorated with a lira. We were very lucky because it's something very small. A couple minutes after, we saw something shining and we found this beautiful golden ring with the Good Shepherd inscribed on the gem. It probably belonged to the Christian people who were sitting in Caesarea, maybe somebody with a very high position, probably on the ship when it was sailing from Caesarea or to Caesarea and wait for us for almost 2,000 years to bring it to light.